Jesse, you feel me? Come on, Rosie with this Big Mac. It's your boy Dink Pay here from Dallas, Texas. And I'm representing Mo3, man. You already know what it is. The best rapper to ever do it. Come through the city of Dallas, man. That's my hero. It's your neighborhood hero right here at West Dallas. I'm right here. It's your boy Dink Pay. You see Mo3 tatted on my leg, so you know I'm really real with this. Long live Osama. You already know what's going on, man. Rest in peace, little Melvin. Let's do it. They lurking them young niggas there they pull up on the curb shirt beat tucked in my pants on the burner won't hurt while I'm serving come to the lane gun on my hand like cane one of my niggas moving them dirty I'm from the lane forest lane gang bang slang can't get twisted up like a McFlurry dump that a dump 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 choppers on dead coat yappers on top of the next floor bring around the Rosie with this Big Mac Where you at, Vito? Wait, wait, hold on, wait. I need the uh, hot Cheetos hood, baby. What I stack? Yeah, hot Cheetos, baby. What I stack? This is what we fuck with right here. See? I said that. Doritos right nasty. Big bag. What? Hold on, what did you just I say? I said Doritos nasty. These? Just, nah, those is, those is fire. Just blue, blue curl? Those blue? is fire. Everything else is trash. Blue corn? Sweet, sweet heat chili. You did not just do that. No, <laughs> that's just, that no, one's fire. These trash, trash, trash. Valid, 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 valid. valid. What, what, what was your What was your favorite tips when you was going going to you know your jit? All right. <laughs> Middle school years, I'm on these every day. Ice cream man waiting outside, waiting outside the school. We get out at 3:40. I'm there at 3:35. Stop playing with me. What is you talking about? I'm here. I'm here with you every time. I never. I'm here every time. Hold on. I'm here every time. 
I'm I'm not there. Yo, no one time. Lady, what you started on candy, name a candy head. I'm here every time. I'm here every time. I'm barely here. This must have just came out, but I'm gonna get here. Hold on, where? I'm here. Oh, hold on. That's it. I mean, I'm here. I'm here with it. Come on now. Come on now. Every candy on the rack, nigga, I'm here with. We going all the way up. We going up. We going up. We going up. That's the that's the emergency meal, nigga. That's the emergency meal when you don't got nothing. Ain't nothing in the fridge. This is how we survive. Chef Boy Ardink. That's what I used to call myself. Chef Boy Ardink. What was your secret sauce, cuz? Secret sauce, nigga. That need none. I just put my flavor into everything, nigga, and it was there. A hundred grand. Hey, bro, what you got with this snack? Hundred grand, you see me, you see me, you see me. But low key, if you really think about it, and this goes to everybody, everybody that look up to me, these ain't for me. I'm just grabbing these for somebody else. I don't know who chips are these. These ain't for me. I eat healthy. I eat healthy, so these ain't for me. Think what you want to think. Man, they ain't my hands. If you think I'm gonna eat them, then they're mine. If you think I'm not gonna eat them, then they're not mine. Yeah, you already know what's going on, man. I'm in the stove. Like I said, I'm snacked up. Hold on, we're in the camera. Get the high fries right there. Uh-oh, hold on, don't zoom in. If you're gonna zoom in, zoom in on the VVS, did you feel me? Yeah. Oh, they got a Slurpee, gang, hold on. Yep, yep, yeah. Hold on now. Talk to me, talk to me, blue and red. Just like the Texas flag. Come on now. Valid, nigga. <laughs> Valid. Is that shit blue and red? Uh-uh. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. No, I did not do that, gang. I did not mean to spill. I'm going to clean it up. Most niggas would have left that cup here. I'm cleaning it up. If somebody spilled it in the store, they're not cleaning it up. I just did that. Come on now. Look at the difference. Look at the difference. Look at the difference. Nobody would have did that. Nobody would have did that shit, bro. Come on. Jesus Christ. Damn. Damn, what music is playing in the car, bro? Refrigerator. Mama couldn't left though, man. That's the only thing to go on. Where we going? If you had to pick your favorite songs right now, what would some of them be? Against All Lies, Tupac. Shed So Many Tears, Tupac. If I Die Tonight, Tupac. All 713 songs by Tupac and Marvin Shakur. Hold Your Tongue, Mo 3. Kiss of Death, Jada Kiss. Get At Me, Dog, DMX. Oh, uh, today was a good day, Ice Cube. I'm naming number one hit tracks off the top of the dome, you know what I'm saying? So. That's how, it, that's how they go. So going from like high school to the G League, what was the biggest differences that you felt? It was, it was exciting and it was a, a, a big shift to everybody else. This is what I want to do for the next 15 to 17 years. It ain't shocked me. Mm -hmm. I knew that's what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. I knew I was going to make that commitment. I knew I was going to shake up the world. I always knew that. When it hit other people, they was like, oh, for real? Him? Why he not going to college? Cause I don't want to. <laughs> I'm a pro. That's what I'm gonna do. Since I was eight years old, I always told myself I wasn't going to college. Just because I seen a lot of players go straight out of high school and I wanted to be one of the players to just put me on the other list. Put me on another list, not another player. He took the college route. I'm different, I've always been different. Like I'm going back to my music selection. You could say you listen to Tupac, but you don't really deeply know Tupac like how I know. 
as a 17, 18 year old kid. Don't nobody know Tupac like that. Can't nobody sit and have a two, three hour like, conversation. Right. right here? Yep. Can't nobody sit and have a two, three hour conversation about Tupac like, like how I can. Yep. So yeah. I always knew I was different. A lot of people, I even mentioned it to some people, they was like, nah, man, I don't think you should do that. I don't think you're ready for that. Nigga, how you gonna tell me what I'm ready for? You know what I'm saying? So, against all lies, Tupac, my favorite Tupac song. I'm ready for any and all contact that come my way. Let me get an E line. What you read your parking skills, bro? Not on the cap game. <laughs> Hold on. Don't worry. <laughs> I read my parking skill. My, my parking skills is good, bro. I, when I took my driving test, he was surprised. No. Nah. He was surprised. Don't even worry, cause watch this. Let me show you how I'm gonna line this up. Let me show you how I'm gonna line this up. Hold on, gang. Oh no, D. Don't you worry, don't... gang. Don't worry. <laughs> Trust me. Don't worry. Hold on. As a matter of fact, let me stop trying to make this hard on myself, and let me show you how I really should do it. Yeah. Let me see. Don't worry. I'm gonna show you the easiest way. Realest nigga right there doing the realest thing ever. You gonna pull in right about there. You can even open up your door. We in the line. I don't know, bro. We gotta take away some points, bro. You got you, bro. Hold on. You gotta get. I was doing that on purpose so we can spend more time in the car. Like is like one of the best parts of your game. Oh, uh, best part of my game is me being six eight, able to handle the ball. Love watching my teammates score, knowing I can get a bucket at any time because the ball is in my hands most of the game. So when I see my teammates score, I get happy. When I score, they get happy. Everything is so mutual and. With a lot of basketball players, things don't be mutual because they don't make it mutual. You got to learn how to be a point guard on and off the court. Off the court. Even with my high school, even with Ignite. Take my teammate, yo, what's up, you good? Oh, damn, that nigga Dink was thinking about me. I said, I'm a PG. Come on now. Keep it 100. Keep it 150 at all times. Just tell the truth, bro. So, tell the truth. we're walking by, like, the footprint center and just being around, like, just, like, being right in front of an NBA stadium. It, does that bring any like feeling or just make you think like, yo, I'm gonna be in there soon? Oh, I, I know I'm gonna be in there soon, man. I'm gonna keep working till I get to any one of these arenas. No matter which one, I ain't picky, man. As long as I get an opportunity and a chance, I'm gonna show up. I'm gonna show up and I'm gonna show out like I always, man. Uh, it's here. It's it's only a couple months away for me, man. And I've been working to this point, and when that when my name get called, it don't stop there. I'm keeping going to the top. G T T G double T, man. G double T, I'm gonna keep going. When my name get called, people gonna love me. Like I said, it's gonna be a shocking to them. Like how Ignite was a shock to them. High school was a shock to them. It's not gonna shock me. I've been working for this all my life. So how in the fuck are you gonna tell me or try to come in between and tell me that you think, oh, this ain't this ain't this ain't him. Or he can't do this, or he can't do that. Stop playing with me, man. I don't play like that. For one, I don't play fair. So at the end of the day, it's all basketball with me. I keep God first, put that basketball in my hand. I'm going to work. Enough said, no excuses. We too old for excuses. We all grown men. And at the end of the day, this is the arena. Who don't want to walk in here and be like, yeah, this my shit. Who don't want to walk in here and be like, oh yeah, I'm finna go score 20. I'm finna go put on for these fans. I'm finna get a whole fan base. Who don't want to be like that? Cause that's how I think. 
Mm -hmm. I'm ready. G double T. G double T. I go live. When I go live, I mean that because I need to get big. Can't be guarding LeBron. Can't be guarding Giannis. Can't be guarding the big motherfuckers. And think like it's just all heart. I got heart with mine, but they got heart too, and they got muscle. So just like how I'm a different breed, they different breeds. And I'm coming for everybody neck, man. A lot of people sleep on me. I just don't listen to y'all because I want y'all to stay asleep. Like I said before, it's a shock to them. It's gonna be a shock to it's gonna be a shock to people to be like, damn, he ain't got drafted. Damn. Oh, he couldn't even, you know what I'm saying? So where the hate come from if you really think about it with rappers basketball players anybody a lot of hate come from the city from where they from where you at least expect it but hearing people they're gonna be like damn thing got drafted i can't believe it how he do it how you didn't do it so man i'm gonna just block everything out listen to my circle keep everything in my circle in my circle and when my name get called, it ain't gonna be no, I can't believe I did this. This is what I've been working for since I was three years old. I know this day gonna come. I know everything gonna come for me. Like I said, I'm keeping God first. And when I keep doing my thing, man, I know there is nothing in this world that can stop me because I'm a God-fearing man. Don't nothing in this world fear me. You clearly see it. Don't nothing in this world fear me except that man above. So when my dream come true, it's gonna shock y'all more than it shock me. Social media ain't it. Social media ain't it, man. That's all fake, that's fantasy world. If you really want it, you gotta do it through the mud, through the dirt, put them countless hours in, like how I put in, and keep putting in, man. That social media stuff, it ain't it, bro. It's turning a lot of things down, man, and a lot of people fall into that in the rankings. And look, man, I was never ranked on ESPN, and I ain't knocking nobody down. I'm a fan of everybody, I support everybody. But I ain't let me not be in rank shut me down. They can't shut me down because I know who I am and I know what, I, what I'm capable of. So the rankings don't matter. If you let a ranking tear you down, this might not be the sport for you. Be the 55th player at the end of the day, you should go to the NBA, he go to the NBA, yeah, y'all still got to line that up. And at the end of the day, when y'all line that up, all that talking that people do, make sure it show. Mm -hmm. Make sure it show. Now, it'd be different if I did all this talking and I ain't hooped in a week or I went out to go party. I ain't no party person, man. I know who I am, man. I don't need to be out there doing all the things I do, man. I be chilling, bro. I be chilling. I stay out the way. I move low and I stay slow. Stay slow. I'm out y'all way. Y'all ain't gonna never know where I'm at, man. And only time you gonna see me is on the TV or on the basketball court, so. Get your tickets if you wanna come to the game, man. <laughs>
different. I thought he didn't. If he didn't have his key, boy, 